Hi, talking about DJI batteries and why some of them are vulnerable to broken cell errors. In a perfect world, when you're charging the batteries, all the cells, which are actually in series, would charge normally at the same rate. The six cells are paired and stacked electrically, as you can see here. And because of that, there is two cells that are actually sandwiched in between the outer ones. In theory, this actual middle cell would be isolated from the outer temperatures, thus causing a temperature difference between the outer cells and the one in the middle. It's my belief that the temperature difference between the cells would also cause different charging rates of the battery. To prevent this, most people would just wait an hour or so for the battery to cool down and then charge. But in extreme cold weather when you're flying, discharging your batteries can cause temperature differences. DJI have recommended you to heat up your batteries to 15 degrees Celsius so that the cells would discharge uniformly. I normally discharge my batteries in cold weather down to about 50%, which is a shallow depth of discharge. The reason why I do a shallow discharge in cold weather is because to prevent uh, stressing the batteries and to prevent temperature changes between the cells as well. I own a set of Inspire Pro batteries and some Mavic batteries and normally use this practice on both my aircraft and so far through 50 or 60 cycles uh, I still haven't had any problems except for this one time where I have flown my batteries beyond a shallow depth of discharge for a flight exam. To cure this I've actually charged the battery fully and basically waited until uh, the error lights come on. After that I disassembled the battery and took off the top and checked the cell voltages. After checking the voltages I noticed three cells were um, higher than the rest. To cure this I soldered some wires over the cells that had higher voltages and connected it to a load. Using a 18 volt drill I used a voltmeter to check the voltages of the cells as it ran down through the load. DJI themselves have an answer to this problem by basically running down the whole battery to 5%, leaving it to rest and then charging it back up should cure the uh, mismatch voltages on the cells. I found that this isn't the case as the voltages are still misaligned after charging. This method of ch discharging the higher voltage cells through a load to match the lower voltage cells usually helps and has cured my broken cell battery problem. It's up to you if you want to use this discharge method to fix a broken cell in a battery. I find it this method works effectively. I hope this video gives you some insights on DJI batteries and that you can take something from it. Visit the Live Drone broadcast channel for some more hints and tips and I'll see you again.